So Brad Young says, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Brad. He says, I have a question about traveling to Milford Sound from Queenstown. We should be traveling there in December, and my family um, would like to do the Milford Sound cruise, but would also like to do the Key Summit Trail in Milford Sound as well. Is it possible to travel to Milford Sound by the bus, by the bus tour, or do they immediately drive you back from the cruise and do not allow for hiking? I looked online, but couldn't find anything on the bus tour if they allowed for hiking Milford Sound in addition to the boat cruise. That's a really good question. Mm. And the key summit, just if you guys don't know about it, the key summit is about a three, it's about three, three, three to four three hour, hour hike. hike. Yeah. yeah. If you, if you, it's a very steep hike. So they, although it's quite short in distance, you are going uphill for the entire time. So usually it takes quite a while for people to yeah. get up to the top. And when you get up there, you want to spend some time taking in the views because it is a really amazing hike. You get to see some amazing scenery, but I, definitely it is, you do need to allow for three hours to get up there, enjoy the views and come back down again. Yeah, usually, I mean, quite often when you see the, side, the sign on the, um, on the, the Department of Conservation website or, or just the inf at the beginning of the hike, and you say three or four hours, you usually think uh, it's about two hours and it's, it's quite often the case, but this one is not. The key summit is quite spot on for three hours for most people yeah um i mean some people run it like fast and they do it faster but yes. as you know as a normal kind of walker tourist visitor it is and even for us actually it takes about three hours um because it is it is very steep yes um so to answer your question though about um taking the bus and being able to do a milford sound cruise and the key summit walk um unfortunately there would be no bus tours that would allow you to do that because they all sort of follow the same route, especially from, Cre from Queenstown, where they go to only short walks. So they only go to the walks that the buses choose. Um, and these walks include um, the Mirror Lakes, the Chasm, for instance. They might, they will stop for some just quick photo stops along the way, but they definitely won't allow, they won't even have time to stop and um, to allow you to do the Key Summit hike, which like we said, is about three hours. Um, so to give, you, to give you an idea, right, the bus tour is already between 10 to 12 hours long, right? You pick up around 7 in the morning and you're back in Queenstown between 5 and 7, right? So it's very long and uh, because there is a lot of driving, there is a lot of stop along the way and obviously you want the time for the cruise. So there is not much leeway around that and that's why you won't find any company that will allow you to do that because delaying it by three hours will mean that you have the rest of the bus tour that's waiting for three hours yeah. and also that mean they'll be back you know in the middle of the night and this, that just wouldn't work so the only way to do key summit uh, is actually to stay around me for sun overnight and there are a couple of options to stay sun overnight yeah, so there is, um, there's a few sort of remote um, accommodations. One of them is Guns Camp. Um, this is a really cool sort of cabin style accommodation. They, for instance, they switch off electricity past 7 p.m. Um, they're quite old school, but it, it's a really quirky place to go and stay. Um, but this is a place that you'll have to go and stay either with one of the one of the um, hop on hop off buses like, um, like Stray um, or you go with your own vehicle, your own car or camper van, and you can stay there as well. Um, alternatively, there is Milford Sound Lodge, which is actually the closest accommodation to Milford Sound. Um, and therefore to the start of the Key Summit track. Well, the Key Summit track is actually at, at the place called the Divide Car Park, which is on the way to Milford Sound. It is not close to Milford Sound whatsoever. Yeah, so. but it's the closest. Is it Guns, Guns Camp's closer? Oh, the... Guns Camp is probably a little closer to really? Key Summit. Huh. Yeah. I don't think the difference is that big, but yeah. Maybe yeah. Actually, yeah, maybe you're so, right. So, it, interesting. so where the Key Summit hike is, it's, it's about, um, yeah, it, it's maybe about a half an hour's drive from Milford Sound, I'd yeah. say. Um, so, but, yeah, guess, yeah, no, yeah, no, actually, yeah, Guns Camp would be a little closer. I don't think the difference would be yeah, major, yeah. But yeah, but, yeah. I mean, there's only really two accommodations to choose <laughs> from. So you have you have Milford Lodge, which is nearby Milford Sound, or you have Guns Camp, which is near the Hollywood track. And um, if you wanted to look that up, 
which is maybe about half an hour away from Milford Sound. Um, alternatively, you can camp. So there's lots of Department of Conservation campsites. Um, so if you have your own tent or camper van, you can go to those um, campsites. But yeah, the Key Summit hike, unfortunately, that is something that you have to be able to do more independently with your own vehicle is probably the best advice we can give yeah. you for that. Yeah, so the best way to do the Kissimmee track is either you decide to go to Milford Sound um, by yourself and spend the day there and you make it a really big day, meaning that you drive all the way down to Milford Sound, you do the cruise, then you're on your way back up, you stop at the start of the Kissimmee track and then you do the Kissimmee track and then you drive um, yourself back out of Milford Sound. That would be a really, really, really long day. Um, I mean, we've done days like that and, you know, we survive them, but that'd be a very, very long day and not suitable for everybody. But the other option that you can be doing, Brad, is um, actually booking yourself an accommodation either in Guns Camp or um, Milford Town Lodge. Uh, we're still debating which one is the road, but I think Laura is right. I think it's Guns Camp. So you book yourself your accommodation, you drive yourself there, so you have your own vehicle, and then you drive yourself at the start of the track, and then you do your track, and then you go to do the cruise, and then you go back to your accommodation, and then you um, you drive the day after because that would be a really long day. But that would be the way to organize a, a hike on the Key Summit track in Milford Sound. Um, and also, that would also give you the freedom to decide to do it whenever you want. Like sunrise, sunset would be phenomenal there as yeah. well. So that may be a good way to kind of time this one and just try to um, try to have the best experience uh, going up the Key Summit. So, you know, if you want to do that much, if you are, you know, if you're planning in that far ahead, you're telling us, you know, right now it's January, you're telling us you're going to go in December. If you're planning one year ahead to do that, that's probably because you really want the best experience. So I would actually try to time it that way and I would try to actually do it at sunrise. That will involve waking up early because that means you want to be around the top by sunrise. So that means you consider because it's about two hour two hours up and about an hour down so that means that you need to start hiking at least two hours before sunrise um which not all your family members are gonna love i'm pretty sure but, <laughs> <laughs> but hey, what the hell um so yeah so that would be our way to kind of do the key summit track and you won't be able to fit that into any of the bus tools that leave either queenstown or tiano for the short answer I mean, we don't do short answers here. <laughs> anyway, if you do have a question of your own and your name is not Brad, put them in the comment below right here. If you are watching us right now live, put them in the live chat right now. We're always happy to um, help. And obviously, if you guys want to say thank you for all our thorough work and all our uh, hard work and everything else, click the like button. And that's a great free way for you guys to say thank you for all our hard work. And obviously, much more information on nzpocketguide.com. Everything we say here, it stays about 10 times more information on the website.